point. What's the nationality? Eddie. Yeah. What? Where you from? Congo. Who's that? West Africa. You say you African, right? What's your nationality? Officer just brought it out, man. From Travis Judah. I'll pray. So he will listen, you know. Right. I'll pray for most time. So he was showing you that the so-called African Americans, because we was taken from the west coast of Africa, right? Right. Um, um blacks or whatever you want to call us, that we ain't Congo, that we ain't um Nigeria. Right. Or just just Negroes. Right. We the twelve tribes of Israel. That's so right. that's what he was showing you. I praise the Most High. So no, I I was listening. One thing he went over is um 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 holidays that we celebrate. Right. You understand that? So real quick, give me Colossians chapter two and verse eight. I want to I want to show you something because a lot of our people, right, as a nation of people, we celebrate another man another man holiday. As far as what Easter, um, um, Christmas, Halloween, and what else? Fourth of July. But as a people, we don't even know the origins of these holidays. You know what I'm, see what I'm saying? So real quick, I want to show, show you something because this right here, this Word of God that we're teaching, is not been taught nowhere on the planet. Why? Because America has spent billions of dollars to hack us from a certain group of people. You understand that? Why? Because. We the Israelites. And once we wake up to who we are and what we're supposed to be doing, their plans is finished. That's simple. Read what you got. The book of Colossians, chapter 2, verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you. You hear that? So he says, beware. And somebody say, look, beware of this. Beware of that. What are they trying to do? They're trying to warn you, right? So the Bible says, beware. Be warned. What? Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy. Through what? Philosophy. Read. And vain deceit. Vain lies. You understand that? Beware of men speaking vain lies that's going to spoil you to the point that he got the whole world deceived. You understand that? Bring it out. Don't even know the origin of these holidays. Right. But we go with the flow. You understand what I'm saying? They got the whole world celebrating devils, and we don't even know it. So he says, beware lest a man spoil you through what? Through philosophy and vain deceit. After the traditions of men. What are they? After the traditions of men. Traditions of men. And what not after who? After the rudiments of the world. What's of the world? After the rudiments of the world and not after Christ. So understand this. The Christian church, right? They all teach a doctrine in unison. That what Christ was born December 25th, and then we gotta celebrate his birthday, right? Who taught us that? What nation of people? The white men? So what are these holidays? Traditions of men. After the what? After the rudiments of the world. Oh, and not after Christ. And not after Christ. Understand something real quick. Hold that, give me John chapter 7 and verse 7. Bring it up. Let's see this real quick. Because these traditions have always been worn. By the prophets. The prophets of old, Moses spake about these things. Abraham spake about these things. Jeremiah spake about these things. And they all came together and they said, look, we can't celebrate traditions of men because they're not after Christ. They're not after the Bible. They're not after our forefathers, right. which we come from. You understand that? These are traditions of men that were set up to rule over the nation of Israel and keep them oppressed still to this day. That's why you see our brothers and sisters right here at the corner store daily, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Why? Because we are oppressed. And we continue to choose traditions of men and not God's word. That's right. You understand that? Watch this real quick. Read on. The book of John chapter 7 verse 7. The world cannot hate you, but it hateth me. You see that? He says the world cannot hate you. Why? Because we're speaking God's word. Truthfully, they don't hate us. They hate God. They hate Christ. Why? Because I testify of it. Christ said, look, don't celebrate traditions of men because it's of the world. Jeremiah said, don't set a tree under you in your house and put presents on it and deck it with silver and gold. Why? Because it's a pagan um, holiday. Right. It's of the world. 
Read it again. Bring it out. The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth, because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. What are the traditions of men? The works thereof are evil. What is Christmas? Evil. What is Halloween? Evil. What is Easter? Evil. The works of this world is evil. That's what we are here to do. We are to testify against the world. We're not out here to go coincide with what the world teaches because it's not of God. America and the world, they teach homosexuality. Right. Is it okay to sleep with a man? Is it okay for a woman to lay with a woman? In God we trust. That's what they say. The works of this world are evil. That's why we out here, bro. Give me number chapter 10, real quick. Number chapter 10. Matter of fact, give me um, Jeremiah 26 and verse 11. I want you to show, I want to show you this, bro. Because he showed you, look. It's time to wake up, bro. Us as a people, we're going to continue to be in this, 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 this um, condition until we come back to who we are. Not as of um, um, Nigerians, Congolese, not as of um, Black or African American. We have to come back to who we are as the nation of Israel. That's plain and simple. It's not another book on the planet Earth that he just provided to you that's going to show you who we are. And prove to you how we got over here, what we were, were before we got over here, and how we're going to get out of it. Why? This is the only one in true book, bro. So I want to show you something real quick. I, I said something earlier, that the prophets of old, they, they taught against this world. You see what I'm saying? And the, because the works of this world are evil. You understand that? Jeremiah 28 and verse 8. The book of Jeremiah chapter 28. And verse 8. And verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old. So the prophets that before us, our forefathers, guess what? Your forefathers. Your forefathers of old prophesied both against many countries and, and against great kingdoms. You hear that? That's why they hated the words of Christ. Because Christ taught against the world. Because the works of the world are evil. But hold up. They teach you in the Christian church that God loves everybody and loves the world. You see what I'm saying? He came for the world. Christ says, we pro I mean, the Bible says, we do what? Prophesied both against many countries. Many countries and what? And against great kingdoms. And against great kingdoms. Read. Of war and of evil and of pestilence. You see that? Where are you going to find this knowledge at? Because they're not teaching it in the Christian church. That's right. They setting up trees in the Christian church with right. presents. Right. But the Bible, give me that in Jeremiah chapter 10. The Bible tells you specifically. Don't set a tree in your house and deck it with silver and with gold. Right. You see that? Why? Because it's not our tradition. Right. Those, those are traditions of men. Nimrod. You see what I'm saying? These are these go back to Babylonian customs during the winter solstice when the sun was at its lowest peak. You see what I'm saying? And they took that as a sign that the, the sun was um um he was given dominion over the night. All type of paganism going on. You see what I'm saying? Well, let's read it again. Let's get some clarification. Jeremiah. Yes. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1. Three. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Oh, who? O house of Israel. What's your name, bro? Say again. Abraham. Ibrahim. Okay, what's your name? I know you, you live in that city. So I know you. I've seen you before. All praise. Read it again. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Bro, listen to me, bro. I promise you. Do not walk away from here and forget all that's being brought. Because it's easy, it's easy for the word of God to slip us if you in sin. We understand that. But you have to understand something. This country, the right, the, the, the payment that you're standing on right now, is soon going to get burnt the hell up. That's right. This word of God is going to be the only thing that's going to save our people out of the, the uh, conditions that they're in. That's why we are here. So hear this word and take heed to what's being brought out, bro. Read it again. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. You hear that? Don't learn and follow the traditions of men. Why? Because the works thereof are evil. That's right. Come on. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Come on. For the customs of the people are vain. Vain. Remember we read that in the New Testament. He said it's vain lies. It doesn't profit anything but death. Read on. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest, 
the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. So this was even before the, before Christ was even born. You understand that? But they tell you Christ was born December 25th. Right. This custom right here was way before Christ. Right. Way before Christ was even born. So how the hell are they gonna uh, just come up with Christ was born December 25th and we're gonna set a tree? No. no. It was already um, being brought out. People was already sitting trees in their house and doing what? They deck it with silver and with gold. They was already decking trees with silver and gold before Christ. Right. You understand that? That's why he says, beware of this thing. Because it's going to put you to death. Bring you it gonna, up. What he saying? Um, um, what's that? Where's my Solomon 14? Is that what you brought out? Oh, okay, gotcha. Read on. Read on. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. Because we didn't have the technology we have back right now. We had to fasten that thing so that, that it moved not. Now, guess what? The so-called white man have got a little crafty. Now he said, look, let's try to invent the tree and just to make it so it stand up on its own. You really ain't got to put the work in that they done back then. We can yeah. make it so easy for you to do to the point of sin. Read on. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born because they cannot go. Understand something. I want you to read something for me real quick. Let's furthermore prove this lie because it's coming up. And guess what? A lot of our people are right now worshiping something and get ready to celebrate something that they know not of. You see that? Read this for me real quick. Read the bottom and then read the top. Read the book. Hislop Alexander, the two Babylons. So this is a book by Alexander Hislop. It's called what? The Two Babylon. The Two Babylons. All right? This book was written by the so-called white man. Yes, the same people that oppress us, the same people that have brought us over on slave ships right. and continue to put us in slavery till this day, this is, this is the so-called white man, this man right here. So I want you to read this real quick. Page 85. Each and all of these can be proved to be Babylonian. And first, as to the festival in honor of the birth of Christ. See that? He says, the so-called white man, he said, this custom right here, it proves without a shadow of doubt that the festival of Christ is Babylonian. Come on. Or Christmas. Or what? Or Christmas. Or what? Or Christmas. He's telling you right now and now that the birth of Christ, the festival of Christ, Christmas is Babylonian. Come on. How comes it that the festival was connected with the, with the 25th of December? There is not a word in the scriptures about the precise day of his birth or the time of the year when he was born. What is recorded there? What is recorded? But, but what is recorded in the Bible, read? Implies that at what time soever his birth took place, it could not have been on the 25th of December. That's out of, the, the scholars know this for a fact. This is coming from the so-called white man. The same person that set up Christmas in Babylon. You see that? So, what is he showing you? He's showing you right then and now, bro. But, this is the thing. Read this. Come on. At the birth of Christ, every woman and child was to be taxed was to go to be taxed at the city where two they belong. Whither some had long journeys, but the middle of the winter was not fitting for such a business. You hear that? So, guess what? It was set up as a custom for the Jews to go back. Um, 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 read it again, that, that middle part. Whither some had long journeys. We had, to, we had to go back and pay taxes and tribute. So he says, read. But the middle of the winter, but December to January, which they say was Christ's birthday, December 25th, was what? Was not fitting for such a business. You see that? So it wouldn't make no sense for women with children um, to be traveling so far of a distance in the dead middle of winter if Christ was born December 25th. He's showing you right now that he could not be born, if anything, December 25th, dead middle of winter. Because why? Because it was a custom of the Jews to go and pay tribute. Right. You understand that? Come on. Especially for women with child and the children to travel in. Therefore, Christ could not be born in the depth of winter. Plain and simple. 
Christmas is out the window. So what should we do now? Since knowing this truth. Jeremiah chapter 7 and verse 21. Jeremiah chapter 7 and verse 21. Because guess what, bro? The, the thing that what we teaching right here, all the lies are going to always get cast down. That's right. You see what I'm saying? Right. Why? Because the, the Most High have wakened certain group of people up to go out and teach his people. Right. This is the one and only true love we've been missing as a people. That's right. But we think giving gifts on, 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 on a, a lie right. is, is love. Right. We think celebrating birthdays is love. Right. Going to the strip club uh, with your homeboys is love. It's all love till you get shot up. Right. It's all love to guess what? You go to the parties and you get drunk trying to steal your wallet. Why? Because there's no law within our people. So you're liable to get put to death. You're liable to be the, uh, 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 get some stolen from you. You see what I'm saying? Why not come with brothers but there's going to be like mind to teach you who you are and how to get out of conditions and save you from all the lives that we've been taught. Come on. 23. 7 verse 23. But this thing commanded I them saying obey my voice. What is it time for? What did he say? What did he say? Obey my voice. Come on. And I will be your God. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If he just said obey my voice and I will be, then I will be your God. Is God dealing with us now? Right. Because they tell you, look, man, God, I know God. I love God. He with me and, and, and everywhere I go. We'll read that again. But this thing commanded I them saying, obey my voice. If you obey my voice, and I will be your God, then I will be your God. That's right. So is God with us now? And how so? As, as a nation of people, is God with us right now? Give me Hosea, chapter, hold that, give me Hosea chapter 5 verse 15. You say, yeah? Watch this, I want to show you something. We think God is with us, dealing with us as a people right now. It's because we've been taught we grew up in a Christian religion. Right. And they tell, they give you a feel-good message tell you, our God is with me. Everything going to be all right. He's our God. Yes, he is your God. But as a father, he's punishing us. And this is what the Lord God that made heaven and earth has to say. Read what you got. The book of Hosea, chapter 5 and verse 15. Watch this. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. You see that? He says, I will go and stop dealing with you until you do what? All praises. What did the Bible say? You hear it? Read it again. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. Till they acknowledge their offense. Right. We don't, we don't understand, bro, that we have made an offense with God. How so? Because we're selling drug and murder on our own people. Right. God says, don't whore out your sisters. Right. Guess what we do? We speak from woman to woman, have babies by, ba uh, uh, by this woman, have a baby by this woman, right. and we ain't marrying our own sisters. Right. You see what I'm saying? I'll praise, I'll praise. Make sure you got your flyer. I want you to understand this, bro. Do not leave here and forget what the office has told you. Right. What the Bible has told you. Why? Right. Because now you're liable to get put to death. Right. Why? Because you know this truth. There's no more excuses. That's right. Right. Read, read on. In their, and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. It's time for the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American men and women and children to start seeking God. That's right. This book right here is of the, this book is your father. Your, this book is written by your fathers. Right. This book gave you statue laws and commandments to keep. It's time for you to put away Christmas. It's time for you to put away Halloween and start coming back to God's laws, statutes, and commandments. That's a scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 
144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.